about it, and blowing up Black's refinery without a plan wasn't smart. Now you have second thoughts? Nope, just said it wasn't smart. But I mean, come on, those fireworks were awesome. <laughs> It was pretty cool when the place went. Now we just need to quietly slip out of this cavern and we're home free. One problem huh? with that, Eli. How are we supposed to slip out with these everywhere? Okay, you know what? This is unacceptable. Even Pronto thinks this is bad. Bad? It, it's horrible. Where is the bravado? The genius. Ah. See? Now. That is a wanted poster. Hate to rush an artist at work, but we need an exit. Which is precisely why I, in my wisdom, have led us here. Uh, to a dead end? No cord, not to a dead end. <laughs> to our daring escape route. What is this place? Why, the flumes, of course. The Under River. You know, I was uh, quite the nautical mole in my day. What day was that? <laughs> mm, I think it was a Tuesday. I've heard of this place, a waterway under Slug Terra. Most people stopped using it when I was a kid. They're coming! And we've got nowhere to run! Our mechs and swim for it? I got a better idea. Cool. Wow. Show off. I modded yours too. The yellow button. <laughs> the Shane Gang are heading south in the flumes. I didn't know a mecha beast could shred like this. Oh, there's a lot these babies can do. I just wish they could also keep me dry. Dude, for real? You don't like water? Let's just say I take one bath a year and uh, it's under protest, all right? Yes, and I protest you only taking one bath a year. <laughs> so hardly anyone uses the flumes anymore? Why? Ah. Who wants wet, wetty wetness when you can ride in luxury on this like Terran Express? Uh, 
No need to worry. Pronto's brilliant nautical sense tells him that the worst is over. You had to say it. Hands in the air, princesses! You trespassers face Malvolio Drake, master of the Cavern Seas! Whoa, 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 wait! So we didn't mean to trespass. We just kinda, um, ended up here. Oh, here is Undertow Cavern, princesses, where the business belongs to yours truly. What business is that? <laughs> well, I look like to you, an accountant, a basket weaver. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the pirate racket, and if you want to pass, the ransom is half your slugs. <laughs> and if we refuse? Then I'll be a few slugs poorer, and you'll be sure to! <laughs> Not if they can't catch us! That's the plan, Eli. Come on, our mecha's gotta be faster than a huge honking boat like that. I don't think the ship is trying to catch up to us. Mr. Watts! Yes, Captain. Show them what a barrage of frost crawlers can do! They've got cannons? Don't tell me they fire. distance between us, we're out of range. I think... Don't say it. We're in the clear! <laughs> we have got to stop saying that kind of stuff. Ready, Burpee? <laughs> well, that is exactly what I was going to do. Not so tough without your cannons, huh? huh? Can I take that back? Give them everything we've got! <laughs> oh, no. Run! Consider your offer, and we'll happily give you some of our slugs now. <laughs> nice try, Morpheus, but the price has gone up. Now it's all your slugs. <gasps> and your enthusiastic servitude. Nothing personal, princesses. <laughs> this can't get any worse. Ugh. Yeah, it can. I can't feel my toes. I'm pretty sure some of these barnacles have barnacles. This is impossible. Well, that's because on a ship, you must scrub counterclockwise. <laughs> now, listen to me, and I will tell you in excruciating detail exactly what you're doing wrong and how I know better. And you said this couldn't get any worse. Attention, deck monkeys. Captain Drake on deck. <laughs> Thought you said this wasn't personal. Don't flatter yourself, princess. I'm a pirate. Making you do my chores for me. It's just another day at the office. Doesn't seem like you're doing a good job, though. That's what Proto was saying. It should be done counterclockwise. Like... <laughs> <laughs> now this one is wasted on deck monkey duties. <laughs> you see? A man who recognizes seafaring skills. Yeah, I do, and you don't got any. But on the cold, empty sea, good distractions are hard to find. Uh, how would you like to be my new cabin mole? A promotion. <laughs> <coughs> so, uh, what sort of perks come with the title? The perk of not being tossed to the sharks over that there plank! Give him the heave-ho, boys! Oh! Oh, that 
that's called. In that case, I humbly accept. Now then, reason I graced you lot with my presence, it's time to get down to the real business. <laughs> of all my ill-gotten treasure, this is the prize of my collection. Behold, every toenail clipping I've had since pirate school. Beautiful, ain't it? <sighs> Why would you do that? Because every part of me is special. Toenails are no exception. <laughs> Burpee! You guys okay? You've got hundreds of slugs in there. What do you even need them all for? For? For having the most slugs. That's how you play the pirate game. Guy with the most slugs wins. <laughs> Don't! Stay away from my Mimki princess. This little guy's more valuable than all you deck monkeys put together. And don't even think about trying anything other than cataloging my collection. Fang will be watching. Now get to work, deck monkeys! Ah, so, uh, just deck monkeys then, not cabin morphs. Oh no, I got something much better for you, Moleface. Ooh, <laughs> better? Oh, oh, oh. Rondo does not want to be Cabin Mole anymore! Make it stop! Make it stop! <laughs> huh? ah. oh, no. Okay, so even if we got past Fang, our mechas are locked away and we're surrounded by sharks and pirates. Yeah, and worst of all, while we're down here, Pronto's up there partying. This isn't Pronto's fault, it's mine. I got us into this by attacking that refinery without a plan. You are harboring persons wanted by Dr. Black. Turn them over and you will not be harmed. Sounds like an opportunity to make an exit. Wait, maybe we should come up with a plan first? Fire cannons. How's this plan? Hang on! <laughs> It's locked. We're trapped. Burpee! You guys all right? Burpee? It's one of Black's ships. The only way we're getting out of here is if they blast us out. <laughs> Guess we can go now. <laughs> Mr. Pirate, get me down! Why? You're drawing their fire perfectly up there. <laughs> But I'm your cabin mole! Yeah, and you're doing what cabin moles are good for, providing a distraction! <laughs> your boss can put Big Daddy Drink out of business with that train of his? What makes you think you can start now? You losers better learn what's mine stays mine! That's not exactly true, sir. The prisoners are escaping, and they've got our treasure. Well, except for the toenails. They pirated me? You don't pirate a pirate! That's a double pirate! Blast them! We have to reload before we can fire. Then do it now! You gotta get these running. We're not going anywhere. We'll cover you. <laughs> what do you say? Think he suffered enough? Yeah. Captain Malpronto, reporting for duty. Cannons reloaded, sir. Mr. Watts, 
You know how I always say it's a waste to sink a ship when you can capture the crew? Yes, sir. Feel free to waste this one. None of them are getting out of this alive. Ready. Aim and fire. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got power! Then let's go! Blast them into pulp! I haven't seen a battle plan this poor since pirate school. Bring us three degrees starboard and we've got him! He's gonna slug us to pieces! All right, we're outgunned, outmanned, and facing a ship twice our size. But don't worry, this time, I've got a plan. We'd lose him in that fog bank ahead. Hang on, everyone! He's headed for the breakers. He'll never make it through. This fool's even more clueless than I thought. Put us around the other side, and we'll clean up after. I should have tried this planning thing years ago. Rocks! See, uh, you stole my treasure, broke my ship, but here's where I out pirate you. Sir, she's going down. If we want to live to play the pirate game another day. If my ship goes down, I go with it, and so does he! Well, captain's off the deep end, boys. Unless you fancy being shark food, we've got to take it. That other boat. This one's all yours. How did you... That's what a Mimki does, Princess! Perfectly mimics anything a slug can do! slug like that Infernus is normally an excellent battle plan, but not when you're up against my Mickey. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm kind of new at this whole planning thing. Let's go. <laughs> Did you honestly think I'd use Burpee again? Huh. 
I guess I'm getting better at this planning thing after all. Hey, Eli! <laughs> so, what do you think of Drake's new boat? <laughs> Cute. Your despicable behavior brings shame to the tradition of cavern mulling. So, I quit. <laughs> Remember, counterclockwise. Nothing personal, princess. No! Miss Lux, come back with me, treasure! You can't pilot that pilot! You know, Eli, with all of Drake's captured slugs, you could have yourself one heck of an arsenal. You're right. I could. But that's not how I play the pirate game. So, how do you want to get back home? I guess we could take the flumes now that those pirates are out of business. Oh, no. No way. I've had enough water to last me five years with the showers. You really want to smell what happens when I don't shower for ten? Let's take the road. Yeah, road. The road sounds good. A mall. First up, arcade. Got a high score to defend. Yeah, you won't be so lucky this time. Play your silly games, but Ronto is here on a mission. Mission? To acquire a new handbag. Yeah. What? I need more pockets. This was a great idea, guys. A little downtime is exactly what we need. You're gonna love this place, Eli. It's got everything. Everything except people. Are we early? Maybe it's closed. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would explain it. Zombies. Halloween, my dad and I would watch a zombie movie marathon together, so I know what I'm talking about. And the first rule of zombie infestations, don't panic. Uh, what's the second rule? Zombies are scary, but slow, and only dangerous in numbers. If we make our way calmly to the exit, we should have no problem getting... Slow? Your zombie rulebook needs an update, bro. <laughs> yeah, rule number three? Run! Definitely not your usual mall invasion zombie. Find a good place to hide. Whoa. Way more like the mad science movie Living Zombies Ate My Brain than the rotting reanimated kind from Mall of the Lurching Dead. Back up. First, zombies. Second, zombies! <laughs> hmm. Now! <laughs> Smarts! Come out of there! Thought you were a zombie. Millard Milford, security slinger. 
Sorry about that. Well, the racket you all made, well, can't be too careful. So you're like a mall cop? Some of your less enlightened citizens call us that, sure. But a security slinger is honor bound to right all wrongs wherever he's paid. Whether it's a mall or a movie house, the playground or the pool. Eh, a kid can dream. And from such humble dreams do heroes grow, my friend. <clears throat> Eli Shane, my gang. Trixie, Korg, and... Pronto? Mm, a bit matchy-matchy. No, Pronto's bag must pop. Shane gang, huh? You made it this deep into the mall, you must be as good as your rap. Except we're actually looking for a way out? Not likely. With zombies blocking every exit. First zombies showed up around 12 hours ago, grabbing people and hauling them away. Tried to stop them, but there were just too many. Got off an APB over the security slinger network. I barely managed to hole up in here to wait for the cavalry. You have a network? Awesome. If we wait here, zombies are gonna find us and haul us off too. No offense. Vigilantes like yourselves may not respect them all badge, but my brothers in baby blue look out for our own. Yelsey. But with your knowledge of the mall and our help, maybe we can escape now, together. Take the enemy off guard. I like your plan, Shane Man, but we'll need supplies. Hardware store. But we're armed to the teeth. No, Millage right. We're gonna need a length of garden hose, a tube of epoxy, three road flares, a ball peen hammer, and a pack of jerky. What for? Not sure. In the movies, the heroes get zombified before they can use any of it. But uh, we'll, we'll figure something out. Got it! The perfect handbag! Shane Man, take point, second level. Off the escalator to the right. Millard Milford will run interference and catch up to you. But the path's clear, we should go together. Or is that what they want us to think? Go on, I'll be right behind. Hey, zombies! Today's special, Millard Milford on the hoof. Get him while he's fresh! <laughs> Who knew a simple security slinger would become almost as noble a hero as Pronto himself? He was a brave man. Did he say the hardware store was to the left or to the right? Mm -hmm. Ah, I see now. Oh, if we are the eggs, the candle store is... No, 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 oh, no. The, 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 the taco stand is just to the left of... <laughs> no, there's a bag that pops. Well, the good news is, by this point in a zombie movie, the team is always down by two. So even without Millard, we're kind of beating the odds. Great, but anyone seen Pronto? <laughs> Everybody wants something. We can trade. I will begin. Pronto wants to live. What do zombies want? <laughs> Who are you people? What do you want from me? My loyal minions wish only to serve Mr. Saturday. And Mr. Saturday wants... War cushions. And more big screens. And snacks. But most of all, more... Minions! Okay, nobody panic. We just need a foolproof plan to find and rescue Pronto and clear out without becoming zombie chow ourselves. In the movie, I stalk with a zombie, the heroes attempt to rescue their friend by cutting their way through the ceiling and... Uh, then they get chomped. But in Postmortem Peak, they made their way to safety through the air ducts. Until they got chomped.
Eli, forget the movies. This is real life. Pronto's missing, and we need to figure out what's going on here. Quick, open up! It's... Pronto? <laughs> Like we're not even here. Probably for the best, considering a hungry zombie would be trying to eat our brains. Pronto's not rotting or even oozing. For a zombie, he's remarkably healthy looking. Maybe we can still cure him, but we won't know unless we get out there and find out what's causing this. The moment we step out there, aren't we zombie bait? Not if they don't notice us. <laughs> <laughs> These zombies aren't decaying. They're like Pronto. We might be able to help them, so don't hurt them. Of course, in case I'm wrong, don't let them bite you or eat your brains. Skull stays closed. Got it. Cord, your disguise. So much for stealth. <laughs> Hold on a minute. These zombies don't want brains. They want big screens. It's just looting. Not exactly normal zombie behavior. Which you know from watching a whole bunch of movies. And if it wasn't for me watching those movies with my dad, we'd be in worse trouble than we are now. Sylvia, don't you give them money. Goodness, Howard, these aren't beggars. <laughs> I know exactly what this is. It's one of those flash mobs the kids are into. Performance art. Oh, <laughs> See, Howard, they're friendly. And you two are adorable. Ooh, Howard, take a picture. You're only encouraging them, Sylvia. <laughs> Hey, oh, hey, hey, hands off the merchandise there, fella! Oh, Howard, be a sport! Not here. We follow. Maybe we'll find answers. Oh, looks like we're just in time for the show. Magicians. Worse than mimes. <laughs> but you've never seen this trick before, I promise. <laughs> Keep your eye on the slug. That's a hypnogriff. Hypnosis slug? A ghoul hypnosis slug. That's a cryptogriff. Which amps and twists mind reading into mind control. No wonder the zombies aren't trying to eat us. These aren't zombie apocalypse zombies. They're old school voodoo zombies. Full different breed. <laughs> now, be so kind as to fetch me a snack and a cool beverage. Unghouling that slug is key to reversing this. Doc, you up for this? <laughs> Are there any free thinkers among us? <laughs> well, I suppose I'll have to do something about that. Eli? <laughs> Answer two questions for me. Who and why? For the next few seconds, you may call me Mr. Saturday. And why does anyone go into business for himself? Hmm? 
For fun and profit, of course. The profit part speaks for itself. As for fun... <laughs> Nothing beats people falling all over themselves to fulfill your every whim and desire. Ooh, speaking of, final thoughts you'd like to share before I draft you into service? How about attacking Millard Milford's mall was a huge voodoo? Millard? Yes. Takes more than a bunch of drooling, stinking zombies to put the takedown on Millard Milford, security slinger. <laughs> All right, now can we go? No time. We have to end Mr. Saturday's reign of terror in the right here and now. He's right. We have to do something. We're way outnumbered. Why not just wait for your backup? Because an entire slug Terran express car from Shady Acres is going to be here any minute for their weekly shopping trip. Do you want to sit idly by when someone's sweet, innocent grandma gets zombied? Not a chance. Those seniors will have no idea what they're walking into. Just one more detail. If you're going to be enforcing mall justice, we need to make this official. Raise your right hand. This is really happening. On my honor, I will defend the mall against all enemies. Be they kleptos, loiterers, or skull-faced zombie overlords. Shane's honor! Prepared for the assault on Mount Food Court? Wait, we can't bring Pronto like this. It's for your own good, buddy. Now let's... Do this! Bring them to me on their knees! Remember, they're innocent victims. Don't hurt them. Don't worry. I will lay a finger on the little darlings. <laughs> Didn't get your name, boy. Shane. Eli Shane. Planning to write me from jail? Is Shane? I shouldn't be surprised. You have skills I can use in my business. Not as a slave, no, but as a partner. We'll never work with you, freely or otherwise. You ghouled your slug. You're in league with Dr. Black. Eat wrong. Saturday is his own man. Black may have given me the ghoul tick, but I work for no one but myself. Yeah? What happens when you want more ghouls? You go right back to Black and give him anything. You're every bit as much his puppet as these people are yours. <laughs> If we don't turn off that fryer, the pressure building inside it could cause an explosion of hot grease that would take out half of Slug Terra! Yeah, I don't think so. I got this. <laughs> if I don't make it back, you need to finish. But I started. I will. I'm going after him. Remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't hurt him. Seriously? <laughs> 
There's a hero in all of us. This is your time. Millard Milford believes in you. Eh, he's dedicated. I'll give him that. Okay, Jules, you know what to do. Hold him, my minions. Time to add another to your ranks. No point in struggling, Eli Shen. You will be my snare. <laughs> Must obey myself. <laughs> you seriously thought you'd stop me by putting me under my own mind control? All you've done is made me twice as determined to win. You thought you had a chance? No, no, no. Never had one, never will. This is never a good sign. Is the show over already? I don't remember any of it, Howard. Hypnotist acts, Sylvie. Worse than magicians. Well, I'll bear. My pleasure, little friend. But Saturday's gone. He who ghouls and runs away lives to ghoul another. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Got news for you, Saturday. You're not headed to some cushy Eastern Country Club prison. You're going to mall jail. For services rendered, lifetime passes to the arcade. Wow, that's... Insulting, yeah, I know. I told upstairs you'd never take them as a reward. You're heroes. Been a real honor. Face it, only one place we're ever gonna get real downtime. Right, let's go home. <laughs>